Navidi. Today we're installing a roof rack on this beautiful 200 series Land Cruiser. Stay tuned. All right, so putting your towers together, it's kind of a pretty side of the washer and a not so pretty. I always like to have the pretty side out, so towards the button head. You grab the top of your tower, put it through, slip that through the tower base, and then it's washer lock washer and nuts. So for height adjustment, there's four holes and then there's a fifth that's even beyond it. Usually to start, the front ones are the only one that matters. I go in the very top, so just stick a bolt through that guy and then a you know, washer, lock washer and nut. And what that does is it makes sure that the front tower is going to be at the highest setting and that they're consistent side to side. So here's all of our towers. Put the fairing in the front. Here's your front tower. If you don't have the fourth tower, you can ignore this one. You got front, middle, and back. And you'll notice they're all very symmetrical as we go across. These on the 200 are all shifted to where the, the tower is kind of forward. The exception is that extra fourth tower. Those are gonna be opposite the front and the middle and the backs. So there you go, there's all four per side for a 200 series. This is passenger side, driver's side. Got my rubber sealing washers on. And the product I, I like to use is this Dynaflex Ultra. It's a window and door siding polyurethane. It stays pliable over time. So this isn't gonna get all hard and crusty. This will stay soft keep all that water out. So I like to use one of the hardware gloves or bags as a glove. Wipe a little bit of that on there and then uh, some of that on each one of these bolt threads just like that. So this is what we're worried about. You can see if I turn this one I can also wiggle the other side. These are connected underneath and if this pushes down this whole thing falls down into the truck and then we either have to try to fish this out or install some rib nuts. So you just want to be careful you don't push down on these guys. Alright. No, just get one side started, and then the other side started, and then uh, take them on down. Leave them a little bit loose just in case we need to shift it side to side when we adjust the rack. Okay, we got all of our towers on. So passenger side, you can see these guys are opposites, the first and the second, but then the middles and the backs. We're all ready to go. Just the important thing is that it looks the same on one side first. Year. So the next thing is just prep some bolts. Don't worry about the nuts and washers at this time. Get either a six per side or eight per side, depending on how many towers. And then we're just gonna slip those through the plates. Make sure that rack is exactly where we want it to be. So we got all the bolts in. That's what those look like there and there. Same on the other side. Of course, the middle tower. One in the back. The most important is we got a good clearance right there. Just a little bit, that's all we need. Nothing's hitting the antenna. So now it's just bolts and washers. Okay, got all our nuts on. And now we can start tightening. When we tighten, we want to do the inside one first and then do the outside one. That's going to suck the tower up nice and tight to the rack. And then we can do the two kind of tower bolts. And the last thing we'll do are the ones that go into the roof. I think the whole thing is just... Cool. Okay. So once the tower's all tight, then we can uh, tighten these ones that go through the roof. And the last thing is, we can uh, pick these little guys so that those nuts don't come off. There we go. Got her all installed, looks great. Customer's happy, most important part. So, we drive off. Thanks for watching guys. Send me a